All right guys, today we're standing over uh, one of my food plots right out in front of me here. It's one acre of buckwheat. Uh, back over here we have a kill plot, which is a summer mix of like soybeans, cowpeas, uh, a little bit of sorghum, and a few other things uh, mixed in that variety. But today we're at the farm, and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and give the first spring of antler grow on this uh, buckwheat and the kill plot. So being that these leaves are only about two inches tall, it is still very young to be spraying. We always recommend about maybe four to six inches tall with the one ounce to one gallon uh, water ratio. But being that these are still new, all you have to do now is just cut back on the ratio. So instead of using one ounce per gallon of water, we're gonna cut that back to a half ounce of product per gallon of water, just because this product is very potent. So we're gonna give this first spraying of this, it'll give it a jump start, uh, get those nutrients in there and help, you know, it's gonna help the deer and other wildlife and. It's gonna make it grow a little bit quicker. So we're gonna uh, get this done. We're gonna do the kill plot as well. And we're gonna uh, show you guys, you know, spraying it with the with the ATV sprayer and uh, and all that. But if on new vegetation like that, uh, natural browse, you can, it's not as sensitive as food plots are, but once on, on these food plots, if they're still, you know, right around that two to three inch mark, you just cut back on the ratio. Uh, you just do a half ounce per gallon of water if it's above you know, four to six or something like that inches, you can stick to your one ounce per gallon of water. Rock and roll, baby. Having fun. Raise great food plots and extra crowds with Anna Girl and the MPK mix. I'm going to explain to you guys how we're going to do it and what you can do when you spray new, tender, brand new food plots. It's only a few inches tall. I'll show you guys how to do it. Also, welcome back to the channel, guys. It is a beautiful day out here. I hope you guys follow along. If you guys are new, please be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Uh, leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions regarding this video. I'm going to be here all day at the farm in Pennsylvania. It's supposed to be about 78 degrees, full sun, beautiful day. Hope you guys are feeling good. Um, we're going to do some hack and squirt. We're going to do some food plots. We're going to check on the electric fence. We're going to uh, check on the fire road food plot. We're going to check on the apple trees. Um, I'll show you guys how to uh, exactly do that. Uh, hack and squirt uh, to open up the canopy a little bit on this fire road that we need some more sun in It's gonna be a fun-filled day. and I hope you guys follow This is a mix, like I said, a mix of soybeans, sunflowers, cowpeas, uh, all kinds of different varieties in there. Um, it's all coming up very well. Uh, there's a couple areas I can see that I actually missed. It's just a really small area, but we went through and we sprayed this sucker. We sprayed the strip of sorghum and we sprayed the buckwheat. So now we're gonna go refill. Um, there's a few other areas that I wanna hit and then I'm gonna take you over to the east side, far east side of the property. There's a bunch of, uh, uh, blueberry, wild blueberry bushes um, we're gonna spray as well and we'll take take you guys over there and uh, show you them. But this is looking very well, very good. The soybeans and sunflowers are up probably four or so inches tall. Some areas of the buckwheat was actually up probably four or five inches tall. 
which is a huge jump from last Sunday when I was here, which was six days ago or five days ago. So everything's looking very well.